What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Race Ace with another video. My oh my It feels so good to be back. Um, I have so much to tell you and today we're just gonna go ahead and Go ahead and just go for a little ride kind of check out the area as you guys can see It's uh, it's a little bit different compared to Vegas. So um, Go ahead roll that intro and let's get to it, baby. And just as I am striving to make a difference, I also want you to join me on this journey as we set our fears and comfortability to the side and not let the naysayers tell us what we can or cannot do. Racing within ourselves to find our highest value, driving ourselves to accomplish our dreams, and having faith that through thick and thin, we will prosper. Perhaps one can say, it's a race to ace. Woo Let's go! So I ended up making a, uh, a little bit of a spontaneous decision anyways and ended up making my way over down to the east coast over here in georgia calhoun specifically actually where everything is a lot greener the weather's better it is a little bit more humid i would say but i mean like today that's why i decided to go out it's been raining the past couple of days anyways and today was the first day that i guess uh, was perfect conditions for for riding so um, why did I move down here? I, I don't know, man. I just need a little bit of a change uh, a, a big change compared to Vegas anyways. It was just becoming a little bit too toxic for me and um, I Don't know just uh, you know the good old country like that one song goes a good old country road. Yeah But um, I don't know if there's a song that actually goes like that, but I made that one up So if anybody does happen to make it copyright over here, let's go but yeah, um, we ended up driving down here. I ended up going with my sister and my parents actually because they kind of wanted to go on along for the ride. We ended up uh, dropping my sister off to Texas uh, where she's staying over there now. And um, anyways, I ended up getting a place over here. Yeah, so it took us about four days to actually be able to get from Vegas to here. Um, now that's of course, you know, doing, a, you know, stopping and eating and resting and stuff like that, but uh, I could have taken us, I think, about three, not two days, two and a half days or three days to actually get here if we wanted to actually be able to um, go ahead and do things uh, fast, but we kind of wanted to enjoy the ride anyways and the drive, there we go, and, you know, see what there was coming over here. I will say this weather, it's not the most ideal for people actually, you know, riding, I would say, since it's a little bit more on the humid side. As soon as I ended up bringing down my bike and checking it out, I started seeing some light rust already forming. So I had to go ahead and, um, I had to go ahead and, and take that rust off before it became a bigger problem. But as you guys can see, it's so much greener than um, than Vegas. While we're waiting here, actually, uh, never mind. We'll just go. I want to take you guys to this spot. I've never been there before, but it's supposedly a really nice overlook. So while we're heading over there, we're gonna kind of be catching up and talking a little bit and having some some fun, I guess you could say. All right, and that way y'all can get acquainted with George as well because I promised my cousin that I would start doing a lot more video, videos up, videos over here. That way, you know, we'll kind of see the, the scenery and you know, how everything looks. So there are a few things that are a little bit different compared to the, uh, the East Coast, the West Coast as I've already noticed. Um, the first one would be the people here. The people are so much more friendly, I would say, compared to 
over there in the west coast or in vegas specifically it kind of felt that i don't know like over there like everybody was trying to get to you you know what i mean like like people had this people had this concept of oh well people are out to get me so i have to build a wall a barrier and coming over here a drastic drastic difference i mean even the amount of trust that they have with folks is so much more different compared to over there i mean for instance right i'm putting gas in my truck and this gas station even set has an option there that goes pay a something along the lines of like pay attendant afterwards so literally you would go ahead and put your gas in and then you pay the attendant afterwards so i'm pretty sure they have cameras and stuff like that too where you know if you do happen to just dip or something like that they'll have your license plates or whatever but i think it was pretty cool i mean the amount of trust that they have is uh is pretty awesome i would say and the roads here are almost similar to over there in vegas now um, a lot of these i find that they're like 70 to 75 miles an hour which over there in vegas you'd find maybe tops being 70 but that's more in like the rural areas so that's another thing to take into consideration riding here i would say is really nice too because there's a lot of areas that you can go to that are like you know twisties i mean literally 30 40 minutes down the road here um there's gonna be some very scenic routes that i'm eventually gonna go show you guys and gals um but for now i kind of just wanted to take this you know moment to kind of you know catch catch us up on what was going on and just because i missed you guys i've literally been here for almost almost two weeks now so i'm still getting acquainted to the area i'm still you know figuring everything out and seeing how everything is but um so far i'm really liking it it's my first day out as well with the motorcycle so um you know we're 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 kind of rusty right now anyway so i don't think i'm in any you know form or shape or form to actually be able to go ahead and go fast and round corners and whatnot and look this is me going 86 and i'm barely i'm still struggling to keep up with these guys so they they don't they honestly don't care i literally was going 80 miles an hour and the police just zipped past me like nothing so so yeah it's been about two weeks now a total of about a month and a half since i uh since i haven't ridden and um man look how beautiful it is over here like i can't i cannot get enough of this greenery yeah it rains a lot but i mean it kind of comes with the territory and uh you know it it shows for itself as to why it's so green here what is it we're about 18 minutes away look at that 82 miles an hour i'm getting passed by a yukon and eh, we'll figure it out later my hand will be my cruise control for today but yeah it's been two weeks i've been remodeling uh my place that i'm living at right now um it's actually my parents place but they're letting me rent it out for for the time being and honestly i can't um i couldn't say no to the offer you know what i mean it, it it's something that you know it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to kind of have a tra drastic change and my job was very understanding with everything that was going on and yeah so right now i'm taking the opportunity while i'm not, uh, while they're about to call me in to go ahead and make as many videos as possible and show you guys the area here if you happen to live in georgia as well feel free to comment down in the section below and let me know that way maybe we could go for a ride and y'all could show me around and you know some places that you guys think are, are pretty cool and you know some places that you feel that are pretty cool to to ride on 